You teach the Bergmuller innocence, right? What about the end? Does it sound like this? Now, the 16th notes were pretty even. The articulation was fine. The note values were certainly fine. But it ended with a decidedly heavy last chord. And why is that? Well, it's a technical problem that caused a musical problem. Here's what the students often do. I'm going to exaggerate. Did you see it? It's this movement way up in the air. I call it the bunny hop because that's the way bunnies get around. Now, what's the alternative? Well, the alternative is to get there without doing that, which would be uh, staying very close to the keys. I call it, well, you know, when I go to the beach, I see these little crabs on the Carolina beaches. They, they skitter. The top of their bodies don't seem to go up and down. They just move back and forth with their little legs going really fast and sideways to boot. So I call this the crab walk. <laughs> Students can get that even at the elementary level. I've done it many, many times. You just get them to move along the keys, call it the crab walk, and they've got it. I just laugh. Even if my students are older, I just laugh and say, bunny hop and crab walk. Now, what if you have um, a more advanced student and they're playing this um, Chopin um, waltz in E minor in the middle goes. Now, do you have a problem? What if it sounds like this? So every time there's a shift, you have an accent, which happens too often. What's the problem there? It's the same thing. It's the same thing. They're doing, they are arcing, they're using the bunny hop instead of the crab. What's the solution? What's the crab walk? This transfer here from five to one needs to be done without doing this. Also make sure you're running this little track right here with these playing the white notes here and the black notes right on the edge so that you don't have as far to go. And make sure that what they're doing slowly is exactly what will work faster because when you speed up something, you magnify any imperfections. Much as a driver has to be careful not to overcorrect if they're doing 65. If you're driving a car or riding a bicycle, if you're driving a car at 15 miles an hour and you overcorrect for something, you might go off of the into the shoulder a bit. If you're doing 65, you will probably be in the ditch and possibly rolled over. So Whatever you want your students to do at a faster tempo, they, you must watch it like a hawk to make sure it's done correctly slowly so that when they speed it up, nothing needs to change but the speed. So, hope that helps. The crab walk instead of the bunny hop. Uh, if you have any ideas for topics you'd like to see covered, I'd love to see those in the comments.